Icor International is a refrigerant manufacturer located in Indianapolis, Indiana. We've been in business since 1995 and are probably most recognized for our R12 replacement, Hotshot. Due to the phase out of HCFCs, which includes Hotshot, we're now offering Hotshot 2 as an ozone safe, reliable, and affordable HFC replacement for R12 and other R12 interim replacements. Hotshot 2 has been extensively field tested in a variety of applications and we're confident you'll be pleased with its performance. This presentation will be focused on retrofitting R12 residential and light commercial refrigeration equipment to Hotshot 2. Icor International is committed to the training and education of technicians in the air conditioning and refrigeration industry. Keeping with this commitment, we've developed this presentation as a guide to assist the competent and experienced HVAC-R service technician. It should be understood that the procedures that follow are not related to a specific brand or manufacturer of equipment, but should be considered a guideline for refrigeration equipment in general. ICOR International is not responsible for personal injury or equipment damage during or after performing these procedures. ICOR also produces ozone safe replacements for R22 and R502. For more information on new 22B and OneShot C, please visit our website at www.icorinternational.com or call 800-497-6805. Due to the federal mandate to phase out ozone-depleting HCFC refrigerants like R22, the industry has a need to develop HFC ozone-friendly replacements. One of the blend components in Hotshot is R22. Due to the phase out of R22, Hotshot will increase in cost. As Hotshot's cost increases, Hotshot 2 will be a more practical choice for the equipment owner and contractor. It's available through a diverse network of wholesale distributors nationwide. Hotshot 2 was developed as a direct replacement refrigerant with similar operating characteristics and pressures as R12 and Hotshot. Prior to being introduced to the market, we want to assure you that Hotshot 2 has been extensively tested at our facility and in a variety of field applications where we're seeing fantastic results. We're confident it will become a popular choice for many technicians and equipment owners as a safe, reliable, and easy-to-use retrofit refrigerant. It's always recommended to follow industry safety standards when servicing any air conditioning or refrigeration equipment. Failure to follow these standards could result in injury or equipment failure. ICOR recommends following these three requirements when considering retrofitting to Hotshot 2. 1. The system must be designed for use with R12, R134A, or R500, free of leaks and in sound operating condition. 2. Hotshot 2 is designed for use in systems utilizing direct expansion metering devices such as TXVs, fixed orifice, or cap tube. 3. It is not recommended to use this product in a flooded system or an auto AC application. Opportunities to perform a retrofit can vary depending on the circumstances. It's important to remember that if a system is in poor condition or not running at design capacity, it may be impractical to consider a retrofit. Typically, retrofitting the refrigerant will not improve performance or increase capacity. However, when retrofitting R134A with Hotshot 2, you may detect a slight increase in capacity. Here are some points to consider when determining if a retrofit would be a good choice. It's important to note that there's 40-year-old R12 equipment still in service in the field. In fact, some of this equipment is still using R12 refrigerant or an HCFC R12 replacement. These systems are prime candidates for a Hotshot 2 retrofit. 1. Has the equipment owner mandated a green policy? Two. Does the equipment fall under the EPA trigger leak rate of 15% on systems with more than a 50-pound charge? 3. Can the equipment superheat and subcooling be adjusted to system design? 4. Are the condenser and evaporator fins in good condition? 
Here are a couple of reasons to consider for replacing equipment. 1. If the equipment is inefficient and can't maintain set point. 2. If the equipment is exceeding the trigger leak rate and the leak cannot be repaired. Pre-conversion data can help determine if a system is operating at design capacity. If possible, it's recommended to record this information while the equipment is operating with the original refrigerant. The experienced technician can quickly determine if the equipment is a good candidate for a retrofit. The pre-conversion data form, like the one shown here, can provide helpful information and can be used as a reference after the conversion. One advantage to retrofitting to Hotshot 2 is that you don't need to perform a costly and time-consuming compressor oil change. Hotshot 2 is compatible with all compressor oils. It's important to know that you'll need to replace the critical elastomer, rubber seals, and gaskets on the components that are common to larger systems. For a more thorough explanation, contact our technical support department. Steps for performing the retrofit. 1. Record pre-conversion data. 2. Recover the existing system charge to EPA recommended levels. Note, if system is empty, proceed to step 3. 3. Repair all leaks. 4. Replace all elastomers if applicable. 5. Perform system maintenance and repairs. 6. Replace all refrigerant filter dryers. 7. Vacuum the system to 500 microns. 8. Recharge the system with Hotshot 2 to 80% of the R12 weight. 9. Start the equipment and run for 30 to 45 minutes for the system to stabilize. 10. Check subcooling on equipment with a TXV. Check compressor superheat on fixed orifice equipment. 11. Add or remove refrigerant as needed to achieve design superheat and or subcooling. 12. Check the pressure safety controls and condenser fan cycling control for proper settings. 13. Check low pressure cutout control to prevent pumping down to a vacuum during off-cycle. 14. Properly label the equipment with the new refrigerant designation and the amount of refrigerant charge. 15. Record post-conversion data. We hope this information's been helpful and we encourage you to try Hotshot 2 at your first opportunity. Please visit our website at www.icorinternational.com or call 800-497-6805 if you have general questions about our products or would like to know where they can be purchased. Call our technical support department at 866-433-8324 if you have any questions about the retrofit process or equipment. Thank you.